Hurricane Katrina was a late-forming tropical cyclone that impacted portions of the Greater Antilles and Bahamas in November 1981. The 21st Tropical Cyclone, 11th named Storm and 7th Hurricane of the 1981 Atlantic Hurricane Season, Katrina developed from an area of cloudiness in the Western Caribbean Sea early on November 3. The initial tropical depression deepened slowly, and was upgraded to Tropical Storm Katrina on November 5. About six hours later, Katrina peaked with sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. The storm made landfall along the south coast of Camagüey Province in Cuba early on November 6. Katrina quickly weakened to a tropical storm, before emerging into the Atlantic Ocean hours later. The system then accelerated northeastward and crossed the Bahamas late on November 6. Katrina dissipated late on November 7, shortly before merging with a frontal system. On Grand Cayman, a waterspout ripped out a grape tree and slammed it into the Brack Reef Hotel's bar. Heavy rainfall was observed on Cuba, peaking at 15.74 inches. As a result, Cuba experienced flash flooding in mountainous areas as Katrina moved across the country. In southern Camagüey province, several bridges and railroads were reportedly washed out. Two sugar mills suffered damage. An estimated 4,641 homes suffered impact, 39 of which were destroyed. In addition, approximately 80% of sugarcane crops were damaged. Two people drowned in Cuba while attempting to cross a swollen river in Camagüey province. The Bahamas received up to 14 in of rain, causing flood damage to watermelon, tomato and corn crops, particularly on Long Island. Map plotting the storm's track and intensity, according to the Saphir Simpson scale on November 1, an area of disturbed weather, a mass of cloudiness and thunderstorms, developed over the Western Caribbean Sea. Subsequently, a low-pressure area began to form. The system was designated a tropical depression early on November 3rd, while located about 150 miles to the south of the Cayman Islands. Operationally, the National Hurricane Center began issuing advisories on the tropical depression at 2200 UTCON November 3rd. In the initial advisory, it was noted that the depression would slowly strengthen, but reach tropical storm status within 24 hours due to strong convection. The depression remained disorganized through early on November 4, with satellite imagery and weather stations in the Caribbean Sea region indicating no intensification. However, only a few hours later, the depression strengthened into tropical storm Katrina, while drifting northward. Continuing to strengthen, Katrina slowly recurved north-northeastward and eventually to the northeast. The National Hurricane Center operationally classified Katrina as a tropical depression until 1600 UTC on November 4, after a reconnaissance aircraft flight reported tropical storm force winds. At 0600 UTC on November 5, the storm strengthened into a Category 1 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Later that same day, Katrina attained its peak intensity after another reconnaissance aircraft flight reported a minimum barometric pressure of 980 MBAR, and observed maximum sustained winds of about 85 miles per hour on the surface. However, Katrina weakened slightly while approaching Cuba. Early on November 6, the storm made landfall in Camagüey province with winds of 75 miles per hour. Shortly after moving inland, the system weakened to a tropical storm. A deepening trough offshore the east coast of the United States caused Katrina to accelerate east-northeastward. By 1330 UTC on November 6, the storm emerged into the Atlantic Ocean. Katrina slowly weakened while crossing through the central Bahamas later that day. After a reconnaissance aircraft flight failed to locate a closed circulation, the system dissipated late on November 7, while located about 380 miles south-southeast of Bermuda. Hurricane Katrina on November 6, 1981 In anticipation of Katrina, 150,000 people and 120,000 head of cattle in central Cuba were evacuated, according to a broadcast by Havana Radio. As a result, Cuban civil defense officers issued a storm alert for five provinces. A hurricane watch was declared for the central and eastern Bahamas. Along the southeast coast of Florida, small craft were advised to remain close to port. However, the storm was not expected to, and did not, pose a threat to the United States. Throughout the Cayman Islands, Katrina dropped up to 12 inches of precipitation. In Grand Cayman, a waterspout ripped out a grape tree and slammed it into the Brack Reef Hotel's bar. The highest observed 24-hour precipitation total in Cuba was 13.03 inches, while rainfall in the nation peaked at 15.74 inches. As a result, 
Cuba experienced flash flooding in mountainous areas as Katrina moved across the country. In southern Camagüey province, a number of bridges and railroads were washed out. Two sugar mills suffered damage. About 4,641 homes suffered impact, 39 of which were destroyed. In addition, an estimated 80% of sugar cane crops were damaged. Two people drowned in Cuba while attempting to cross a swollen river in Camagüey province. The Bahamas received up to 14 in of rain. Although no deaths or injuries were reported there, heavy rains in the central islands caused flood damage to watermelon, tomato and corn crops on Long Island. Bad weather from Hurricane Katrina caused the cancellation of the 15th running of the Benson and Hedges Gold Cup race. Thanks for watching.